Hello and welcome to Alice's Gardener Plate. I help viewers who are gardeners that love to cook utilize their entire harvest year round by garden planting, preserving methods, and recipes. If that interests you, like and subscribe. That's Sally, she's my supervisor. You will see her a lot in the background because somebody's got to do quality assurance around here. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over how to bring your cold weather sensitive plants indoors and preventing all of the overwhelm of the flying insects and other things. You don't want those in your house. And I do that by spraying the plant and what to do with the soil. I will do a nice close up view of how to do that step by step. What I am using is my pitcher here for watering, my sprayer, peppermint castile soap because that's my binder for the bio insecticide by Arbor. I am going to mix two tablespoons of the Arbor and water in here. Two tablespoons of the Arbor, one gallon of water, and a tablespoon of the Castile soap. So the reason you use the Castile soap is that it will attach to the leaves better because just using the insecticide alone, it will easily come off compared to the binding of the Castile soap. Plus the peppermint smell truly helps repel other insects. So I go through and I mist this barbecue rosemary down. Barbecue rosemary is pretty cool because it actually has a light smoky flavor. As you can see, it also takes pruning very well because I just did a harvest. So I go through and I soak that down. I grab my pitcher here that has the just the arbor in it. And I go through and I'm going to water this really well. And then I'm going to use my water meter to see the actual level of moisture that's in the soil. This is going to kill any kind of gnats or anything that's in the soil. So therefore they don't go in the house. I usually do this a couple days before I start acclimating the plant to go indoors. That way the bioinsecticide works really well. Quick thing, I just wanted to tell you how bioinsecticide works. It is made from plant compounds and it is specifically targets the bad bugs you don't want, like fungus gnats. But it is safe for the pollinators and beneficial bugs. The other cool thing is there's a compound in there that stimulates root growth. So it is safe to pour over the soil. Using the water meter, I'm gonna go down by the roots. Perfect. It was bone dry. It was just hovering over dry before and I'm at the proper level of moisture for this rosemary I'm gonna be bringing indoors. If you enjoyed today's episode, click that like button so therefore the algorithm will work in your favor by subscribing to the channel, you will be notified of new content. Thank you very much for viewing.